Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technic.com. Today I'll be talking about how you can mount your drives that is partitioned with NTFS on a Linux system and I'll be using a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 as our operating system. Okay, so this is my system so let's confirm the drives that i have on the system so you can see that i have the sd and um it is partitioned into sd1 and sd2 as well so i'm going to be inserting my usb drive into the system so now that I have my USB drive inserted, let's uh, confirm that. Okay, so you can see my USB drive as SDB and it is partitioned into SDB1 and SDB2. So what you should know is that before you can mount your NTFS partitioned drive, you would need the NTFS 3G package to be able to mount to be able to mount it and um you would get the ntfs 3g package from the epl package uh, because it doesn't come with the um default repository default rel repository so you would need to install the epl package first and then install the ntfs 3g package so let's install the epl package so with this command i'm going to install my epl package i'm going to be dropping this on the comment se section or the um, description section and you can as well check the website as well that um, technit.com i'm going to be dropping the link as well so anything, so if you need to copy anything, you can just copy it directly. So you see that I already have this um, EPL package installed on my system. So the next thing I'm going to do is to install the NTFS 3G package. I know I already have it as well, but just to show you, let's um, install that. Okay. So you can see that I have that as well, saying uh, complete. So now that I have this NTFS 3G package, I can mount my USB drive. So let me create a mount point. Okay, I already have this mount point created. All right, so I can mount my usb drive um to this mount point now so um the disk contains an unclean file system the file system wasn't safely closed on windows fixing okay so um, i guess it's already fixed the problem so let's try and mount SDB2 as well on Technic 2. So let's see if it's mounted. So you can see that we already have them mounted, Technic and Technic 2. So let's get to see the content we have on the on the drive. Okay, so these are my content actually. So you can see that um I can see my content. They are all directories. So this is um how you can mount your NTFS partitioned drive into your Linux system. And you can also make it persistent. And if you want to make it persistent, that means you would need to um you would need to edit the FS tab file. So let's yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's do 
the one is on technique Okay, so sorry, there are two um, power systems. So let's just mount the second one. Maybe two. Technique two. Okay. So we don't have any error. So that means that um, I've already made made it persistent. So this is how you're going to make, this is how you can make your file system persistent. You just need to edit the FS tab. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Also, if you're interested um, to become an author of Technid, you can check our website and um, you can just join us. Thank you. Bye for now.